just in general, I am fascinated by gore and creature effects and all of that kind of stuff. So Aaron's demise, it feels like that was all blocked and filmed in an incredibly specific way. So what did you guys talk about in terms of the framing of, of her death? All right, actually, I'm going to make this very complicated and make it a twofold question. Right, I'm the ready. framing of her death, because like there's something about it that feels very sensual about it. And then also her her understanding of what she's able to do in that moment, just knowing that she has control over the angel in that particular moment. Yeah, to degree, at least I think um, there's a couple of things that happened. One that was shot on a few different days. So when the angel takes me and drops me in the graveyard, that was shot on location. And I had, I swear to God, I had a whole plan. I had the best plan. I was gonna do these things and I'd worked out physicality. And then Quentin shows up in that suit and he's terrifying to look at because that was real. And he had the wings on at that time and he's covered in blood. I have the wound on my neck. And the second that man started to hold me down, I freaked out. I freaked, nothing I had planned came true because all I could think of was get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me. And it was really scary and like triggering light. It was just, it, it was, and I think that feeling led, and I'm glad you picked it up because it is sort of sensual because the whole thing felt like a violation. And I'm, I'm kind of talking around the word rape, but it is, the whole thing felt like a violation. And at a certain point, Erin relaxes, you see it, and she realizes the opportunity she has. And I thought a lot about the Talmudic character Lilith, who is pre-Eve, and she wouldn't lie on her back for a man. And so God kicked her out of the freaking garden and she became a night walker. And trust me, the whole, the Bible is just vampires. It's vampires all the way down. But um, I thought about that. And in that moment, her, her pulling him in, her receiving of him and her taking charge of her trauma, I thought was extremely important. And Mike had that, that was scripted that Aaron pulls him in. And when I, I was like, I don't know how anybody who is being eaten alive has the wherewithal or the strength to do that. And I, the only thing I could think of is that the women I know who have been assaulted are the strongest women I know. And they are the ones with the deepest reservoirs of strength because they've been to hell and they've come back. And I think about Aaron in that way as being someone who, even though I couldn't imagine having that amount, that amount of strength, she has it.